Hello everybody, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Gabriel Knight, the 20th Anniversary Edition. We are in the Belly of the Beast, the citadel of the Voodoo Cartel, their hound form. We need to save Grace and stop their insidious murders. So, let's do a little bit more exploring here. We haven't gone to the inner circle yet. So let's check that out. Ooh, this looks familiar. These panels seem to tell a story. Heck of a family album. Tetelo holding up the talisman. A ship sailing. Slaves rising up and killing their owners. Haiti, probably. Looks like Tetelo's people arriving in Narlands. They accumulate great power through voodoo. The Hound Forest built under Jackson Square. Okay, I don't really see that myself, but I'll believe you. This table has a trough on top, just like the Snake Mound stone table. Gabriel shivers, remembering what that trough is for. And it looks very well used. Gabriel doesn't want to think about what it would take to open the table. A pit for fire. I wonder if that takes gas or propane. The Getty Hound for Potomata. Potato Man, okay. Well, uh, anyway, we have some uh, Rada drums here. Rada drums, like those used by the Getty Relayers around the quarter. Interesting. Okay, I'll give it a shot, but I'm no musician. So we can use them. Remember, they use the rudder drums to communicate with each other. This might be sort of like their intercom system. Hmm. Remember that uh, there's one room where Brother John is, and there's a key card beyond him, but we can't get to it because he kills us. What if we were to distract him? So let's do something. Let's summon... And then we have uh, that black book that we got that has all the names of people. And he is a Brother Eagle. So once we do this, we need to hurry. And uh, there we go. I need to a remember. door opens in the distance. I need to remember where I came from, I believe. I came from right here. I hope so. Okay. So we need to go two down. And I believe this was the uh, door where he was in. So we don't want to go directly toward it because we'd run right into him. And he's gone. So we need to snag that key card. Got it. And get out. And to get out of here so he doesn't catch us. Okay, A we should. The door opens and shuts in the distance. Dr. John must have returned to his room. Okay, so we are now safe, relatively. Oh, alright. Um, so there are a few doors that we pass by because they would actually be locked. For example,. It's locked. But since we have the key card. And we probably won't find anything exciting here. Holy moly. Stacks of bills are bound and pressed into neat piles. Gold bullion. 
Lots of it. Uh, okay. These guys obviously have little confidence in the U.S. government. You know, that's the one thing I can't blame them for. How come the bad guys make all the money? Oh, without money, oh, what would I do? You know what? I travel. That's that is the number thing I, I want to do. I just want to travel. The only thing I want money for is just to go places, anywhere I want for the rest of my life. That'd be fun. Anyway, we need a bit of cash ourselves, so we can actually. I know it's dirty money, but it's for a good cause. Me. Yeah, let's just keep grabbing money. I hate to say it, but I can't carry anymore. Oh. I will. A million or so ought to hold me. I feel like you could fit more. Little gold bars. Those bars weigh a ton. Oh, baby, you are such a beautiful sight. No kidding. Oh. I might set up a Patreon. Maybe you guys will donate a million dollars for me and I can go travel. I promise I'd still do Let's Plays. I'd just be doing them in, like... Thailand and Australia. Oh, anyway, there's another locked door right here. Oh. Let's, uh... Do that. Underneath the surgical lamps is a gurney with a body on it. No one I know. With jars of hearts. Human hearts. So that's what they do to them. Who but do you why? think you are? Maybe I shouldn't even right. ask. They're used for some powerful Grigri, no doubt. Or maybe that's what Tetelo has for lunch. And oh boy. I hope those are rubber masks. No, no, Gabriel. That's probably the, the most disturbing thing in this entire game is just this part right here. Holy moly. More corpses are stored in wall compartments. It looks like a deep freeze in there. Serious surgical lights descend from the ceiling. Bodies and parts of bodies are kept on sterile steel beds. The room smells thickly of formaldehyde and is freezing cold. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, this... Let's let's leave this place. There is nothing for us to do here. But it shows that they pretty much have a butchery for all the sacrificial hearts they could ever need. They kinda need to be stopped. Okay. Let's see, that's ten... Nine... So I'm just going to tell you right now, you want to have a backup save here. This, uh, once we get things started, they're not going to be able to stop until the very end. So, uh, yeah, save here. That's what I'm going to do. See? Save game. New save. Boom. Boom. Oh, boy. Well, I'm ready if you are. Oh, I found her. The sounds of Radha drums echoes through the hound for. The ritual must be about to begin. Mostly, you made it. Thank God. I thought I saw you ducking in here. Those goddamn drums started as soon as I got off that elevator thing, and I heard voices from above. I have the feeling the mass voodooese are about to invade. I found Grace. I see that. Check her out, then you and I need to find a way to blend into the woodwork, bud. Well, we do have uh, something for us to blend in. Let's take a look around first. 
Grace is still lying on the bed. She may be unconscious, or worse. Well, she's obviously moving around a bit. You can see her breathing, so... Grace, wake up. Talk to me. Grace does not respond. Yeah, if she was dead, they wouldn't have been putting her on a bed here. The Hound 4 is decorated with priceless African art. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, not much to look at in here. So anyway, well, let's just uh, talk to Mosley. Hey, Mosley. No need to thank me for coming, Gabriel. What are friends for? I got you a disguise. Great. Give it to me when we're ready to go. Um, I guess that would be now. Gabriel can hear the people in the hall. Oh. Should I dress myself first? That thing looks hot. Gabriel doesn't want to put it on until he has to. Uh... The bed looks like a hospital bed. I'm ready to go. Gabriel would prefer to keep the wolf disguise for himself. Okay. I got you a disguise. Great. Give it to me when we're ready to go. And I'm ready to go. No thanks. I went before I left. We are ready to go. Why? Oh, come on. Hey, come on, game. Don't do this to me. It's the end. Hey, mostly. No need to thank me. Gabriel wouldn't get far dragging an unconscious grace. Um, I'm ready to go. What do I do? <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I think I remember. I remember. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is easy to forget. We have the talisman. We actually have to use it on Grace. This talisman is supposed to have some sort of power. Grace, wake up. Grace. What? What's, what's going on? Gabriel, Mosley, where are we? What's going on? We're in the Getty Cartel Hound Fall, Grace. A ritual is about to begin, and I'm afraid you're the main cause. Is that what those drums are? I heard them in my sleep. I couldn't wake up. Yeah, makes you want to dance, don't they? Be serious. What are we going to do now? Right. Let's make a plan. What do you want us to do, Gabriel? You're asking me? Oh, God, we're in trouble. Well, I realize that I'm the professional, but you do know more about what we're up against here. Uh, okay, okay, uh, Grace. They expect you to be unconscious, so you better fake it. That should put you in a good position when it's time. Uh, Mosley, you and I'll be with the other ritualists. As for the ritual itself, I'd say Tetelo is our worst problem. I remember from the bayou that she didn't show up until Dr. John blew that drug on Malia's face. If I can prevent him from doing that, we can keep Tetelo out of it, I think. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh-huh. What if Tetelo does show up? Let's just worry about making sure that doesn't happen. Okay. So you're gonna prevent this spirit thing from showing up. Fine. I'll take care of the big guy, Dr. John, when the time comes. And I can handle Malia herself. As long as she is Malia. Well, keep an eye on her for her own good. But don't hurt her. Who, me? We'll wait for your signal then. Fine, but you guys aren't going to get far looking like that. Alright, so now we can do this. Okay. Here, yeah, it's a disguise. Gee, a boar. How thoughtful. And what are you, pray tell? Oh, uh, a wolf. A wolf. How appropriate. Oh, wow. You goddamn wiener! <laughs> Someone's coming. Grace, get down. What are you doing here? Thought this room was empty. Go to the circle now. Written by 
But you said... Shh, yeah, yeah, I know. Great, now what? I don't know. Malia's body is totally under the control of the Loire Tetelo. Dr. John looks on hungrily as Tetelo prepares to sacrifice Grace. We don't want to let that happen. Uh, stop! You! Kill him, Dr. John! Something tells me we should have taken another action there. Oh. The fact that that's first person is really disturbing. I really don't want to do can we try that again? Yeah, into this. So let's skip the cutscene. And we do have a talisman that wards off against evil, so let's ward off some evil. Gentlemen, stop! I won't let you kill her. You can't stop me! Watch your friend die! Uh oh. The talisman seems to have little effect at protecting Grace from this distance. Get her, Dr. John! Kill her! We must have the sacrifice! Ow, hey! <laughs> Mosley did not hesitate once the Oh boy. You go, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. You have killed my chosen one, Witch Hunter, for that! You shall pay! But first, these intruders shall die! Give me the talisman, witch hunter! Or your friends will die horribly, right now! No, you're not getting this back. It took us hundreds of years to get this thing back. Listen. Don't hurt them, Tetlo. Your quarrel is with me. My quarrel is with everything you are. Ritter Spawn. Gabriel is not in a position to tackle Tetelo. Let's use this again on her. All right, take it. Or oh. Gabriel, no! <laughs> Maybe we should not give that to her. I was just trying to ward all her off, but uh, Gabriel had other plans. So this time I think the better idea would be to Sure, Tetelo. You want the talisman? Here! Place a monkey in the middle. Ah. Go on, get Grace out of here. The talisman will protect you. What about? Just go. You are unarmed now, witch hunter. Approach me and kneel. Oh god. Malia, are you there? She's too powerful. All right, there's actually one thing that we can do here. The giddy idol, the thing that contains their power. No! Stop! Oh, shit. We need to grab her. I'm sorry, but we... Molly is still in there. We need to see if we can save her. I've got you, Molly. No, you 
will betray us. hunter. I won't let you kill her. Gabriel, you didn't betray me. I've got you. It's no good. It has to end with me. No, don't let go. Damn it, don't you let go! Goodbye, my love. No! I think it's over now. I'm sorry about Malia. I know you cared for her. You've changed, you know? Have I? Yeah. So are you gonna do it? Be Schottenjäger? I'm gonna try. Don't worry though, you'll be back in school safe and sound. I don't have to go back. There's a lot to learn right here. A spiritual path can be more important than a path of the mind, you know? Hmm. Well, you're welcome to stay, Gracie, just as long as you don't expect me to know what I'm doing. This is a historical moment, isn't it? 300 years ago, the Ritter Talisman was stolen by Tedalo. She used it to draw her family to power, while your family withered. Now she's gone and your family's restarting. It almost makes you wonder if it wasn't supposed to happen that way. You know, good coming from evil. You think too much. But really, I think the most tragic thing was all those generations of young women, like Malia, trapped by this large, overriding personality, forced into a life of horror. Yeah. God, it reminds me of living with you, Grace. You know when I said you'd changed? Yeah? I was wrong. Are you sorry? Nah. All right, full points. And that is the end of Gabriel Knight, the 20th anniversary edition, meaning it is also the end of the Gabriel Knight series as a whole for me on this channel. It has been quite a ride. I enjoy all the games immensely, every single one of them. Of course, you know, the very first game is the best in the series, and I do prefer the original. I love the VGA graphics. They are absolutely stunning. Like. When you look at the original, they have the best VGA graphics that, that I've ever seen. Like, there, there are some that kind of match up, but at the same time, I've never seen better, you know? This was like at the peak of what they could do with them. So that's sort of the difference between uh, that game and this game is that Gabriel, the original Gabriel Knight had the best of the best when it came to the graphics system it used, where this one did not. That doesn't mean this one was bad or wasn't beautiful, didn't look good. But it just, there's, you can sense that disparity going on. Still, I do like this version. It was great. It, uh, put a few new little spins on the, uh, series, and I like that. It's a nice little homage to get people back into the Gabriel Live series. And, uh, Jane Jensen, who runs Pinkerton Road Studios, I don't know if she will have a Gabriel Knight 4. There's one other game that she's done with Pinkerton Rose Studios called a Mobius. And I want to take a look at that. But as far as Gabriel Knight 4, I'm not sure. Like, I went in the last uh, International Women's Day, which was like a week ago or something, she was listed as one of the uh, top 20 uh, women who influence video games. And uh, on her Facebook fan page, she posted about it. But what she said was, I wish I could design more games. Kind of giving the hint that she won't be designing any more games. I don't know if she's still running Pinkerton Road Studios. I don't know if there are any more games planned. I haven't seen anything. Uh, unfortunately, when I was doing a little research on it, one article came up that said that the uh, employees were paid quote-unquote slave wages, meaning uh, it wasn't a very wealthy company. And I guess that... Uh, Kind of took his toll, and I'm that, that is sad to see. Because I would really, be I, I know Jane Jensen has a Gabriel Knight 4 in her head, she needs she just needs the medium to get it out. And I really, really wish that would happen. I don't want this series to end because Gabriel Knight is one of the best series that Sierra has. It is.
series is amazing. Like, I do think the series is even better than, like, you know, Space Quest. I love Space Quest, but this series has been more consistently good than Space Quest has been. I know, it is hard to say. I know there are other people who would argue with me on that point, and they'd have every right to. It's just my personal opinion. And it is weird because, like, while nostalgia plays a factor into me liking, like, so much of the series series, the Game Boy series is still relatively new to me. I had no idea of its existence until a few years ago when uh, Dylandau, another Let's Player, uh, decided to Let's Play the first game. Until then, I had never even heard of Gabriel Knight at all. But anyways, I'm glad I have now, and I am uh, can consider myself a fan. And there are novelizations of the first and second game, I believe. I don't want to. I kind of want to get those written by Jane Jensen herself. Let me do that. But uh, otherwise, uh, let me know what you thought about uh, this version as compared to the first version, or just this version by itself. Uh, just know that I do have the first version available as a Let's Play on my channel, so you can watch that one and make a comparison if you'd like. Uh, let me know what you thought about the voice acting, about the graphics, about all of it. Just leave a comment down, the, down below, make sure to leave a like, make sure to share with your friends. Uh, and also know that there is a secret alternate, well not a secret alternate ending, but there is an alternate ending that will show in one more bonus video. In a way, that is that. Shot the guys. And this is just sort of uh, this stuff. Oh, from the original. 1993, so that's when this, that first one was made, because it looks good. It is like the most advanced, like, graphical Sierra game there is. I think it might have been the last BGA one. Uh, Jane Jensen and uh, interviews with her and everything, but. Uh, Otherwise, nothing that interests me too much. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you for my next Let's Play.